A Blender bub here, so Blender really, really badly needs set-driven keys like in Maya. This is how it works. So you see I got this locator here, that's going to be my driver. This is what's going to make all the changes. I will just click here on load driver and I will decide what is going to make the influence on my monkey. So it's going to be the translation in X and this will influence my monkey here. So this is going to be the driven and what I'm going to influence is going to be the translation in X also. And now all I need to do is to set a key. Now I can take my locator here and I can move it somewhere else and I'm going to move my monkey. I'm going to move it in two axes and I'm going to set a key again. So now if I move my locator back, you can see it only moves in X because the, here I only set it up to transition in X. Now you're going to say you can do this with a driver in Blender. Well, hold on, hold on. Let's keep going. So this time, instead of just doing the translation in X, why don't I select everything? I'm going to do the rotation, the translation and the scale. I can even do the visibility if I want to, which is something we don't have in Blender and I really, really need. So I set a key here and now I'm going to go here. I'm going to move it. I'm going to scale it and I'm going to rotate it. Now I set a key and now if I move this, you can see that it does as expected. No need for complicated math. It's so simple. You just press key. I could go here, move it, scale it, rotate it and all this stuff. But now my locator is not at the starting point where it was before. It's in the middle. So now you see if I move this, ooh, I added a keyframe in between. Now let's add another monkey and you know what? The keyframes don't even need to match the first one. It can be anywhere I want. And now you see I'm moving both at the same time. Oh, I'm not done yet. Now I'm going to add a shader as a driven and I'm going to select the color, the base color RGB and I'm going to keyframe the color. There's also a way to select the previous or the next keyframe if you want to make some modifications on what you did before. And also all these keys will appear in the graph editor so you can modify them there. Actually, you can keyframe anything that is keyframable with a set driven key. Anything. Now try this with a driver in Blender. Good luck. Just do it.